here's the thing. A lot of members of the left starting to realize that wokeness is destroying America, which is why of late you've seen some conversations about how you're not supposed to use the term wokeness, which is weird since they made it up. And so I'm fine with using the term wokeness. I intend on continuing to use that word. It is their fault that it became a poisonous word, not mine. It's because the idea is incredibly stupid. The impact of wokeness on American society, a critical analysis. In recent years, the term wokeness has become a focal point for discussions about social and political dynamics in America. It's no surprise that many individuals, even those on the left, are beginning to recognize the potential ramifications of this ideology on the fabric of American society. This video delves into the key arguments surrounding wokeness, particularly those articulated by prominent figures like Ben Shapiro, who have made it their mission to critique and dismantle what they perceive as the detrimental effects of this cultural phenomenon. Understanding wokeness. Wokeness, a term that originated within social justice movements, has transformed into a contentious label. Initially intended to signify awareness of social injustices and inequalities, it has since garnered a more negative connotation. Many argue that the very individuals who coined the term are now advocating against its use, which raises questions about the evolution of its meaning and application in contemporary discourse. Ben Shapiro, a well-known commentator, has positioned himself as a vocal critic of wokeness. He asserts that the concept is fundamentally flawed and that it has permeated various aspects of American life, from social media to entertainment, and even consumer products. According to Shapiro, wokeness has become so entrenched that it is nearly impossible to navigate daily life without encountering its influence. The Four Lies of Wokeness Shapiro identifies four major lies propagated by wokeness that he believes are particularly damaging. That history has consequences. Right. But if the idea is, but that's not what wokeism is. Wokeism is a different thing. Wokeism suggests that all inequalities of today are attributable to not only historic injustices, but also continuing injustices in the now. And I've that never all disparities heard anybody attributable to discrimination. Like that, but a conservative. Not just that. Not a just conservative that. is the not only just, person. Not just, I want to know why. Why is it that conservatives are the only people who define it like that? Why, why are conservatives the okay, only okay, people? Okay, okay, so. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop here because this is going nowhere. But What's up? I, I, we're, I'm gonna have to stop with this with you because this is going nowhere. All I'm going well, to say is this. To no, sum up, I, I, I just am trying I, to understand I, I your perspective. On it. Lies about America, he argues that wokeness distorts the narrative surrounding the United States, painting it as an inherently oppressive society. Lies about inequality, according to Shapiro, wokeness misrepresents the nature of inequality, suggesting that it is solely a product of systemic oppression rather than a complex interplay of various factors. Lies about personal responsibility wokeness, he claims, undermines the concept of personal accountability by attributing individual failures to societal structures. Lies about truth Shapiro posits that wokeness warps our understanding of objective truth, often prioritizing subjective experiences over factual evidence. Wokeness as a religion. One of Shapiro's most provocative assertions is that wokeness resembles a religion. He likens its followers to cult members, bound by an ever-shifting code of conduct that dictates acceptable beliefs and behaviors. This analogy highlights the confusion that can arise when individuals are held to standards that are constantly changing, making it nearly impossible to adhere to the ideology consistently. Shapiro describes a woke priesthood consisting of intellectual elites who dictate the narrative and determine who is deemed acceptable within the woke framework. He argues that this creates a culture of fear, where individuals must navigate an intricate web of unspoken rules to avoid social ostracism or backlash. The consequences of wokeness. According to Shapiro, the implications of wokeness extend beyond individual beliefs they permeate corporate practices and media narratives as well. He references examples such as major brands like Ford, which he claims have adopted woke policies and marketing strategies to align themselves with social justice movements. This raises questions about the authenticity of such efforts. Are these brands genuinely committed to social change, or are they merely engaging in performative activism to maintain relevance? Shapiro also critiques the role of the media in perpetuating wokeness. He argues that mainstream outlets, including the New York Times and late-night talk shows, act as gatekeepers for the woke agenda, often relying on their own woke intermediaries to interpret complex social issues. This reliance on a narrow set of perspectives can lead to a distorted understanding of societal dynamics and contribute to a culture of division. 
cancel culture and the lack of forgiveness. One of the most alarming aspects of wokeness, as highlighted by Shapiro, is the phenomenon of cancel culture. He argues that individuals who stray from the accepted woke narrative face severe repercussions, with little opportunity for redemption. This unforgiving stance creates an environment where nuance and growth are stifled, leaving little room for dialogue or understanding. The concept of forgiveness, he argues, is a casualty of wokeness. Once labelled as problematic or offensive individuals may find it nearly impossible to reintegrate into society regardless of their intentions or past actions. This rigidity contributes to a culture of fear, where people may feel compelled to conform to the prevailing ideology rather than express their authentic views. The gender debate a point of contention. Shapiro's critique of wokeness extends into the contentious debate surrounding gender and sex. He firmly believes that gender is inherently tied to biological sex, challenging the notion that they are entirely separate concepts. This perspective positions him in direct opposition to many advocates for transgender rights, who argue for a more fluid understanding of gender identity. By questioning the validity of separating gender from biological sex, Shapiro raises fundamental questions about identity and society's evolving understanding of these concepts. His arguments, however, have drawn sharp criticism from those who advocate for a more inclusive and nuanced approach to gender issues. The irony of woke culture. Shapiro points out the irony within woke culture, particularly the idea that both speech and silence can be considered forms of violence. This paradox creates a no-win situation for individuals seeking to engage in discourse any attempt to communicate can be deemed offensive, while silence can also be interpreted as complicity in oppression. In a humorous twist, Shapiro suggests that the only viable solution may be to adopt non-verbal forms of communication, such as miming or tap dancing, as traditional dialogue becomes fraught with potential pitfalls. This hyperbole underscores the absurdity he sees in the current cultural climate, wokeness as a substitute for religion. Finally, Shapiro posits that for many individuals who have abandoned traditional religious beliefs, wokeness has emerged as a substitute. He argues that it fills a God-shaped hole in people's hearts, allowing them to signal virtue and separate themselves from perceived non-believers. This analogy raises important questions about the role of belief systems in contemporary society. Is wokeness merely a new form of religion, complete with its own rituals, dogmas and moral codes, or is it part of a broader cultural evolution that reflects changing values and priorities? Conclusion A Call for Reflection as discussions about wokeness continue to unfold, it is essential for individuals to engage critically with the ideas presented. While figures like Ben Shapiro may provoke strong reactions both positive and negative their critiques invite us to reflect on the implications of wokeness in our society. Does wokeness represent a genuine pursuit of social justice, or has it devolved into a rigid ideological framework that stifles discourse and fosters division? The answers may vary, but one thing is clear the conversation is far from over. As we navigate this complex landscape, it is crucial to approach these discussions with an open mind and a willingness to engage in meaningful dialogue. So America has now adopted tap dancing, apparently, as its new solution, or mimering. I mean, that, that because if you speak, it's violence. If you don't speak, it's violence. So we have to find some other form of communication.